Hello, and this is tips and tricks for fishing in Skyrim, and also a showcase of the aquarium with all the fish caught. Anyway, let's get started. Um, first of all, we got a cod, a carp, a salmon. Then we got a pogfish, Arctic grayling, Arctic char. Then we got a dive fish, a vampire fish, a brook bass. Here we've got a scorpion fish, a catfish, and a glass catfish. We've got another carp, an angler, a um, a tripod spiderfish, and we've got a glass fish, Abyssinian longfin, silverside perch. Then we've got a hissed carp, a um, cyrodelic spade tail, and a pygmy sunfish. And here we've got angelfish, a goldfish, and a pearlfish. Here we've got another goldfish, um, a lyre tail antheus, and another pearlfish. And then here we've got another pygmy sunfish, spadefish, angelfish, uh, then we've got river betty, angler larvae, spadefish, all these fish on the wall as well. Anyway, I'll leave Lake View Manor. And I'll uh, just go in here. Oh yeah, and this little bug, I found him in St. Juice's DLC. He can, um, he's locked up in a bandit cage. A uh, golden saint bandit cage. And anyway, you, you can let him go and then tell him to um, live in any house you have. So he's a good little pet. And anyway, just the starters. Um, when you're given the quest to find the lucky fishing hat, don't give it back to the Argonian because just lie and say you haven't found it. And keep it for yourself because when you have it on and you fish, it'll instantly start raining so you'll be able to easily catch like catfish and all those rainfish. And anyway, I'll show you the, uh, the fishing maps. Uh, you're buying from general goods stores. Um, in like White Run, Markas, uh, a few other places for all of these. These ones all bought at general goods stores. Anyway, you got these fishing mastery books, which you get get throughout the fishing quest line. First one is Temperate Lakes and Streams. The second one is um, our rainy weather. Third one is cold weather. Fourth one is cave fish. Fifth one is rare fish. And I'll just show you some bit more. Um, a few fish that you can easily find instantly. First one is goldfish, go to Mother's Eye Pond. And uh, thanks to the end of the in the comment section for telling me what this is. Anyway, uh, got six here, three here, three here. It's a very useful spot for when you're just um, starting out and you've got all these goldfish bounties from Mila Valencia and also from Argonian guy can get six here, get them all done. Next fish is pygmy sunfish. You can easily find them at the hot springs of Broken Limb Camp. Let's go down here. If you're a low level, just avoid the giants. I can easily find them, but can't be bothered right now. And they're swimming around here. Just look down here. Pygmy sunfish, there they are. Very easy place to get them. Next place is Evergreen Grove, which is northwest of Fork Reese. And at Evergreen Grove, you've got Lytale Antheus and Spadefish. Two fish really easy to, in the same pond, really easy to catch. Just need to, we've got Lytale Antheus here. And, where's it? Spade fish here, okay. Light tail antia, spade fish, evergreen at evening evergreen globe. Evergreen grove. Anyway, for the next one, a dawn star. It is pearl fish. Now this is um a uh, very um no, not that hard actually, but it's a little bit more obscure than the other ones. God, like white mean, if it you just go along um, this shore here, and 
And the, the easiest way to find it, just go past these hawkers. Just ignore them. Just go on this uh, little island here. Swim down. And yeah, you got your pearl fish. So the point of reference is this little island here. Over from where the hawkers are. Let's bring them back up one more time. There, yeah. Right there you can find the pygmy sunfish. And I'll also show you a um, place where you can easily get scorpion fish. Brood cavern. I found three scorpion fish here. And it's also a good place to farm bear claws every once in a while. Because bear claws plus canis root is fortify one hand potions. Very useful for legendary difficulty. And um... Just go in here. I just killed these bears. Shit, I'm missing thing. You know, I fished three scorpion fish all in the same session in this little cave here. Anyway, I'll just leave this one in place here. Okay. Huh? Now, if you find like a rare fish, like say you find a. Uh, Tripod spider fish, for example, and you want to get more, go to Winstead Manor and build the fish hatchery and just breed them there. Because, um, ah, oh, this bandit's I glitched inside my house. This happened before. It's very annoying when it does happen. I just let them mess around. Anyway, um, We've got this fish hatchery here. Just put in whatever fish you want in this little hatch. And swim in. We've got goldfish here, brook bass. As you can see, there's a lot of different fish we have. Eye tails. Even we've got the rare ones like um, tripod spider fish. And, um, and yeah, the only ones that won't work are anglers. I tried to put an angler in here. It never... Um, never spawned. I don't know, it might have been full, maybe that's why it didn't spawn, but they might also be too big to be able to breed here. Anyway, we've got... Yeah. You can just farm them. If you have heaps of aquariums, like at three different houses, if you want full aquariums, this is a great way to do it. Just farm fish here, pick them up, transport them to the aquarium in your other house. And yeah. Anyway, that's for the tips and tricks.